I'm excited to officially announce that Sofa 4.0 is coming. And in this video, I'm just gonna show you kind of like, it's gonna be basically a little preview of not all the new stuff, but kind of the, the main highlights of the new things that are coming to Sofa 4.0. Sofa has always been great for adding books to read, movies to watch, video games to play, all that kind of stuff. It had these, these built-in data sources, and it still has those things. But now you can add kind of whatever you want. You can create your own custom categories. You can add stuff from the web, all types of things. And I'm going to show you how that works. But basically, the idea is that, you know, we really do so much more with our downtime than just, you know, consume media in different ways. You know, we go out to eat, we travel, we go on hikes, we do all sorts of things. And now you can add all that stuff into Sofa so that you, you kind of have these different lists and ideas for things you can spend your downtime doing. Okay, now the first thing I want to show you is custom categories. So when you go in here, so you'll now have categories. And at the top here, you're going to have your, what I'm calling easy categories. And these are the ones that have always been there. So, you know, you can add apps, books, movies, TV, all that kind of stuff. And you can turn these on and off depending on what you want to use and don't want to use. But now you have your categories at the bottom here. And this is where you can literally add whatever you want, whatever you can think of. These are a couple that I'm specifically using. And uh, when you tap add a new category, it'll give you some suggestions here. So you can kind of pick from those things. Uh, or if you want, you can literally create your own and choose your own icon, whatever you want to do here, and give it its own title and all that kind of stuff. And this gives a lot of flexibility for the types of stuff that you can add into the app. So some of the things that I use personally are, you know, I'll save an article I want to read later. Maybe there's certain events that I want to check out at some point in the future, restaurants to eat. And just like this one, this web stuff is just kind of like general websites I come across that I'll just kind of chuck in here for different reasons. The next new thing as part of this is that you can add stuff via the share sheet, like a website that you're looking at or that you want to save for some reason. So all you have to do, just like so many other uh, apps here, is you tap on the share sheet and you'll have Sofa here. You may have to kind of find it depending on where it is in your list then you tap it and then it'll save kind of that primary information about the website and from here you can choose uh, I'm going to get into ingredients in a second here but you can choose what type of thing this is so I'm just going to say web stuff and then you can choose which list you want to throw it into so I'm going to throw it into the pile you can add your own description here you can change the title you can change the link all that stuff and then we just hit add and then if we go back into Sofa, you will see that that is now added. And here it is. And what's really nice about this is that you can add anything here, right? So you can add um, articles you want to read later, restaurants you come across, basically anything that you can grab a link to, you can chuck it now into Sofa. Now, if you already have a link and you don't want to add it via the share sheet, you can just tap on the plus button here and uh, add a link via the pasteboard. And you can type a link in manually, uh, or you can just paste it, whatever you want to do here. And it'll, it'll go through that same process of, of saving it. Now, the other thing you can do is, uh, you know, these are all the, the kind of built-in things that you can add, but now there's this new custom one. Now, with this, you can add a fully custom manual item. So you can give it its own title, its own description, its own image. Uh, if you want, you can actually uh, take a photo, like choose a photo from your uh, camera library if you want, or your photo library. Choose where you want to put it, all that kind of stuff. So you have much more manual control over the things that you can add here too. So that's how you can now basically add anything into Sofa. This next set of features is what I'm calling fiddle-free expandability. And if you're someone who's ever used uh, spreadsheets or tools like Notion or Airtable, those tools are incredibly powerful because you can really build and customize those things to almost exactly what you want. The downside to that stuff is the, the kind of day-to-day -day experience can be a little tedious and not, not quite as, uh, as simple to do and can feel a little heavy uh, if you're trying to just do simple things. So being inspired from those types of tools and that, that kind of power of being able to expand 
a product to be able to do very specific things that you want, I kind of took some of that flavoring and, and brought it into Sofa and I'm calling it ingredients. And ingredients are basically these little features that you can add into Sofa that can expand its use depending on what you're trying to do. So let me show you a couple examples of how this could work. Okay, so if we go into ingredients, you're gonna see I actually have a few ingredients already. Now with ingredients, you can do things like create your own rating system, create your own tagging system, you can uh, save links specific to certain things. You can just have open text fields, all that kind of stuff. And what's really nice is if I tap at ingredient here, again, there's some suggestions to get you started for things that are kind of the more common things that you're gonna do. So you, you can have your own rating system if you want different types and you can customize all these once you add them. If you want your own tagging system, you can add that kind of stuff here. Uh, a recommended buy, I'll show you how I use something like that. And then you can also do like a status tracker. Now, if those ingredients aren't really working for you, you can create your own and, and do whatever you want with this. And this is where you have a ton of flexibility to kind of expand Sofa to whatever you wanna do here. And again, if you've ever used spreadsheets in a, in a more complex way or things like Notion or Airtable, this kind of stuff will look pretty familiar to you because they're essentially properties, right? Um, that, I'm, that I'm calling ingredients here. But again, you can expand uh, a lot of functionality here, which is really nice. So some of the ingredients that I have, so like I said, I have rating here and you can see that uh, depending, and I'll show you how you use this stuff in a second, but let's say I wanted to add, you know, another option here for a type of rating that I wanna do. Let's say, uh, let's say something made me sad. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to save it. And then basically what happens is it goes through everything in Sofa and, and applies this ingredient to it. Uh, I have a status for to do and progress and done. Um, a, a website one where I can save uh, specific links about something, recommend to buy, all that kind of stuff. And I have a couple test things too, because this is still in beta. I am still testing it. Okay, so let's see how we can actually use ingredients you know, it's great, you can create them and they're there, but how do you actually use these things? All right, so let's look at, say, Legends of Zelda here. And as you can scroll down here, so you have your kind of main info, all that kind of stuff, you can see what list it's in, the, the category that it is. And you can see your ingredients here. They're all part of each item that you add into Sofa. So we have our rating, we have our status, uh, we can add a link if we want, uh, recommended by. So the recommended by one, that's something where I should do this with sticky notes quite a bit, where someone would recommend a movie or a book or something, and I would actually note down who recommended it. Because as I'm trying to go through stuff later, say like, oh, well, what do I want to read next or watch next? I would kind of prioritize the things that were recommended uh, by certain people. And now I have, I can literally add a specific ingredient here to do just that instead of just using sticky notes. And you can add tags here. You can see that kind of stuff. And, you know, I can change the rating to different things. I can clear that, whatever I want to do. And I can do this for everything that I have in Sofa, right? So if, if something doesn't have a rating, you know, I can give it different things. And what's really nice about this is, you know, I'm thinking specifically of a rating system. So a rating system is something that's been requested by people for a long time in Sofa. And whenever I would ask people, well, what, what, what are you expecting in a rating system? I would get many different answers. Sometimes I would get, you know, one to five stars or thumbs up, thumbs down or, or different things. And this allows me to bring this feature into Sofa, but it allows people to customize it to how their brain works, right? And how, how it kind of fits. You know, if they want to do a five-star system, go for it. If they want to do five uh, thumbs up, that's cool too. Like they can do whatever they want, which is really nice. Again, so for each item that you have in Sofa, you can add these ingredients too. You can change the different values and stuff like that. And there's a lot of a lot of power here and a lot of flexibility. And I'm actually pretty interested and excited to see how people use this. Now this last area of, of kind of new things for Sofa 4.0 is the ability to make Sofa as simple or complex as you want. 
and being able to customize sofa is something that's been there for a while uh, specifically with the theming system i have in there like there's over 100 themes so depending on the theme or the mood you're in you can choose specific themes based on that i've been thinking a lot about this concept of being more accommodating towards the people who use sofa you know there's a time and place to be very opinionated about decisions within software but I think we could use a little bit more flexibility and and uh, freedom to be accommodating towards the things that people are looking for, because sometimes it's it's like someone loves an app, and I've had this experience where I I love a specific app, and if I could just tweak this one thing, it would it would make it you know basically perfect. But you know that's that's a decision that was made, and 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 you can't do that. And knowing that there's limits on the amount of accommodations that I can provide people within Sofa, um, I am leaning into that more for Sofa 4.0. And I'm gonna show you a couple of examples of that. And really the line I'm trying to, to you know, stay on here is providing a very simple and, and smooth, easy experience within the app and, and, and user experience in the app, but still providing a lot of power and flexibility for people who want that kind of thing. Okay, so the first thing I wanna show is smart list. Now, this is gonna be very related to the ingredients that I just showed you. But now, instead of just making a list that you were kind of manually, manually adding stuff to, you can create smart list. And let's do, uh, let's just do faves. All right, we'll do favorites. And, what you can do here is you have a couple of system filters and then you have ingredient filters. So again, those ingredients that you make within the app, you can now use those to create smart lists. So depending on the values and stuff that you have within there, uh, you can make really, really powerful systems in here. So your system filters, you know, there's a couple of like built in things that each item in Sofa has. You know, the data was added or edited, uh, if it's been added to the logbook, does it have a sticky note and what what does that sticky note contain? All those kinds of things, you know, depending on the category, the list. Um, and then for your ingredients, depending on what you have, you can filter that stuff as well. So I'm just going to do a very, very simple smart list here. Uh, and I'm going to say where the rating is uh, a heart and I'm going to hit create. And then we're going to add that. And you'll see that a uh, smart list is designated by a little bolt icon there. If I tap on that, there it is. There's everything that I have favorited. So if we go into a, another smart list that I have, so this one's called recommendations. And if I go into, say, edit smart list, uh, you can see that, you know, we're recommended by. So again, I that's that recommended field that I use. And I, I fill that out with who recommended something. So whenever that's not empty, I want to capture that thing here. So then I have this really simple automated list of things that have been recommended to me. And if I wanted to, I could filter this additionally by the different categories and maybe even specific lists and stuff like that. Again, it can get very complicated, but um, this is just two very quick examples of, of smart lists and how to use the various ingredients and system filters. Next thing you do is you can pin lists now. So, you know, you can pin items and that's what this is here. So these are items specifically within a list. But if you want certain lists to always be at the top, uh, now you can do that. So you just hold down and then you say pin list. And now you can add that stuff. I'm going to add this one there as well. Great. So now I have these two lists. They are pinned and they will always be at the top here. Now, the last thing is around customizing the home screen here in this layout. So as you can see, so between the pile, logbook, pinned items, and uh, the pinned list, you know, maybe this very visual and playful layout is not quite your style. Or maybe there's certain things that you really don't care to use. Like maybe you don't care to use the logbook and you just want to get rid of it or, or you don't use the pile or, or whatever. So now if you go into settings and fiddly things, um, there's a couple options here to customize the home screen and how that kind of works. So first one is just kind of this, this bigger one. So let's say that that kind of playful style, you don't really like it. You want something a little bit simpler. Uh, so under quirky mode with home, you can actually turn that off. 
Then if you go back, then the kind of primary list here will just be simple, you know, icons and you can just tap on those and go back and forth. So that's always nice. And let's, uh, let's say you do like those. So let's turn those back on. Uh, let's say for pin list, you have an option and say you just want them to be simple lists instead of in that grid. So now you have pin list and those pin lists will have a little pin icon as well, but they will always be at the top. But if you want them to just be simple list, you have that option. And then, uh, so for the pile, for pinned items and for logbook, there's now a little setting to show or hide that on the home screen. So if you don't want any of those things on the home screen, you know, say you only want the pinned items there, you can do that, no big deal. So you have a lot of flexibility to customize the, the kind of look and feel of how this works and to set this up with, with how your brain works and how you want this stuff to go. And you can always get back. So like if you hide those things, you can always just get back to them here. So it's not like they're gone and you can never get to them. They just get added to this little menu here. Okay, so that's most of the new stuff that's coming in so 4.0. Now, you might be starting to ask, when is this coming? Well, I don't have a release date yet. The best I can say is soon. But the fact that I've made this video and you're watching it and uh, I have a little landing page you can go check out to, to see even more details uh, does actually mean that it is coming soon. I just don't have a specific date yet. Uh, but that will be announced uh, soon. So at this point, I'm in the final stages of testing and, and kind of polishing a lot of stuff. If you are interested, uh, I would welcome you to join the beta where you can start to test this stuff out, give feedback, uh, help me to catch any remaining bugs that are out there. Uh, I do caution you if you're not someone who is comfortable with beta software, like there, there are going to be bugs in there. Uh, if you're not comfortable with beta software, then just wait for the, you know, public release for everything. But if you do enjoy using beta software and testing stuff out, uh, I will leave a link in the description where you can find all the information to join that. So that's it. Hope you're excited for Sofa 4.0. I know I am. I've been working on this for a minute. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye.